That is the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University, the site of tonight's in-state rivalry matchup between the visiting Thunderbirds of Southern Utah and the Wolverines of UVU. The Thunderbirds are soaring high and coming off of two straight thrilling wins over fellow Big Sky foe Montana over the weekend. Both games came down to free throws within the final seconds of the contest. A couple of players to keep your eyes out for tonight for Southern Utah, Mason Fawcett and John Knight III. Fawcett was just named to the College Sports Madness Player of the Week for the second straight time after averaging 15 points, 7 boards, and shooting 50% from the field last week. Knight also dropped 21 points, shooting 10 of 15 from the floor in Thursday's win over Montana. On the other side of the court for Utah Valley, the home team. The Wolverines escaped a pesky Westminster club last week to improve to 2-1 on the season. Trey Woodbury is averaging a little less than 20 points a game, and his tag team partner, J.J. Overton, has been nothing but electric. Last year's matchup between these two teams went down to the wire, and we'll see what's in store for this chapter tonight. It's the Thunderbirds and the Wolverines, and it's next on the WAC Digital Network. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in, are you? At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. everybody and welcome to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you on a glorious Wednesday evening edition of WAC Basketball. Starting lineups tonight for Utah Valley. Taking a look. Blaze Neal, Latre Darthard, Fardaz Amok, and then Jordan Brinson getting the start as well. Jordan Brinson missed last week. And uh, we saw a preview of Evan Cole there, and Evan Cole is ready to play, and we'll see him tonight, just not in the starting lineup. On the other side, for the Thunderbirds of Southern Utah, coming in, Dre Marn, Tevian Jones, Mason Fawcett, and Ivan Madunich. Southern Utah just recently received an invitation from the Western Athletic Conference to join the conference, and we're going to have Madunich in the red and black for Southern Utah. And Amok, and Amok loses the tip as Madunich wins it. Southern Utah in their red with the black trim as you see it and as we see it going from right to left. And Utah Valley in their home, white and green going the opposite. Southern Utah coming into this game red hot after defeating their conference foe Montana back-to-back -back over the weekend first time since 1999 but they got to do something here two seconds on the shot clock puts up a desperate shot counts if it goes and it's a bank for Tevian Jones to start the evening 
And if that's any indication of how this night's going to go, we're in for a long ride, folks. Trey Woodbury wants to answer at the other end. Comes up short. Brinson can't get a hand on it. Ball bouncing all over the place. Finally picked up by Southern Utah. John Knight the third, averaging double figures for Southern Utah. Madunich. Good defense here from Utah Valley, making Southern Utah work the clock. Knight gives it up. Again, about five seconds before Southern Utah puts up a shot. There's a deep three from the top of the arc. That one rims left. Missed there to pick up the rebound. Jordan Brinson for the Wolverines. Blaze Neal to Latrey Darthur. Big man against big man. Brinson. Neal, 10 on the clock, goes down low to Amok. Amok with the teardrop, gets the foul, doesn't get the bucket, but he'll go to the line to shoot two, and he gets an applause from Coach Mark Madsen. And for those who've been keeping score over the last year or so, Utah Valley down in southern Utah last year, trailed, came back, clawed back as Amok miss, makes the first free throw. He went down to the wire, but with a couple minutes left, Coach Mark Madsen was one foul away from playing with four guys. And Amok makes two. And Mark Madsen said that was one of the most stressful times he's ever had as a basketball player or coach or anything. And he said he doesn't want to ever relive that moment again. Coach Todd Simon getting his Thunderbirds in tip-top shape with a nice tier floater there from Fawcett. Amok with a nice spin move. Gets it up and in. Does Amok four, Southern Utah five. Beautiful move there. Couldn't get the follow with Tevian Jones. Here comes Utah Valley with the chance to take the lead. Feed the hungry man. And another miss off the back. And you can tell that it's a big point of emphasis to get Dawes Amak the ball. Whole Utah Valley bench stood up on that one. Southern Utah trying to answer with another three. Maduna's shown he has range. Just comes up short. The Trey Darthard again feeding the big fella. Literally clearing out. One on one, big fella misses two back to back shots. Knight kicks it back out. Good ball movement here from the Thunderbirds driving baseline. Now Knight at the top of the key. Brinson Gardner goes down to Madunich. Madunich gets swatted there by Amok. Amok got a paw on it. Nice take and finish from Tevian Jones. Big, lanky, and long finishes at the rim. Very chatty, a lot of energy here in this arena. An offensive foul called against Trey Woodbury. Again, some scattered fans here, some friends and family members being able to be here. Southern Utah on the opposite side. We got our cardboard cutouts making as much noise as they can. But it, there is some palpable energy here. Can you imagine what this would mean if you Southern Utah came into this conference, joining Dixie State and, and Utah Valley? Very aggressive move there for Mason Fawcett. He will not be denied. Nine to four. Thunderbirds on top of the Wolverines. Neil and company looking for some answers. Neil travels. And that'll take us to our first timeout. Thunderbirds out on top by five with less than 16 to go in the first frame. This is Utah Valley Basketball, and it's on the WAC Digital Network.
At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Welcome back to Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you here alongside producer and engineer, Courtside Ben Schroeder, thank you for letting us be a part of your Wednesday evening on YouTube, on the KSL streaming app, on the WAC Digital Network, and however you're joining us. Right now, Southern Utah on top of Utah Valley, 9-4. to four. And being an in-state school separated by the same freeway, about three and a half, four hours south, Southern Utah. Depending on how you drive, I've been told possibly three. <laughs> And uh, again, the big topic here locally, Southern Utah, currently a member of the Big Sky, received an invitation from the Western Athletic Conference to join. So we'll see what happens with that, along with some other schools in the news over the next few months. But right now, they're just focused on some in-state bragging rights here tonight. Southern Utah again with seven on the clock. Ninth to third, has his ball tipped. Two, one, step back, Faye counts, and it does with the swish. John Knight the third making that look easy. 11 to 4. And the Wolverines got to get something cooking on offense here. And whistle away from the ball. And they're going to call that one on Harrison Butler. That'll be his first personal. Colby Lafson checks in for the first time tonight. And Blaze Neal takes a break. Amac, Woodbury. Amac puts it on the floor, and he gets fouled. Count it. Big fella. Tim Duncan style kiss off the glass. And Dawes Amac continues to be the only Wolverine to score so far. So he'll go to the line to try to complete that old-fashioned three-point play. And if I do say so myself, this is probably the most aggressive offensively that we've seen Daz Amac so far this season, even though he missed that free throw. It was two of three on the night from the charity stripe. Utah Valley trails 11 to six. Butler, back to Knight. Knight calling for his man to come, Marin. Stops and pops from the corner, and that one's good. These guys can shoot. Like I said, they averaged shooting 50% just about last week in both games. Lafson, now to Woodbury. Brinson. Hey, Mac, now to Darthard. Darthard. Gives it to the big fella. Hey, Mac with the spin. And they're going to call a foul on the floor. And I think that's going to go against Fawcett. And it will. That'll be his first personal. So 20 seconds, Utah Valley gets the ball right into Trey Woodbury. Woodbury rises and finishes. 13 to 8, Utah Valley trails. Nice move and nice dish. Harrison Butler coming in and making the layup for Southern Utah. Why not? Trey Woodbury's feeling it. First three pointer of the ball game for Utah Valley. Back to back points. Five straight for Trey Woodbury. 11 to 15. Utah Valley slowly chipping away at that lead.
Nice rebound there from Woodbury. Woodbury's trying to push it up with tempo. Here's Darther. Darther at Euro step in the lane. Contact, no foul, but count the bucket nonetheless. Utah Valley 13, SUU 15. Southern Utah working that ball around the perimeter. Lots of chatter on the defensive side. Coach Mark Madsen said they needed to improve their communication this last week. Good defensive stop there. Nice hands from Brinson. Crafty. Brinson going to try and do it all himself. Instead, kicks it out to Darther. Trey Woodbury calling for it down in the post. He gets it. Woodbury with the size mismatch. Cross-court pass to Brinson. Brinson with the fake. Puts it on the lane. Kicks it back out to Woodbury for three. Rims out. In transition are the Thunderbirds. And there's a, a foul in the bucket. This one's going to go against Darthard. Nice, smooth finish from Mason Fawcett. Fawcett, the local kid from Saratoga Springs as we see Tim Fuller's first minutes of action for, for the Wolverines. And Jade McClanahan checks in as well. Jordan Princeton will take a seat. And Nick Fleming will come in for Dre Martin for Southern Utah. Fawcett gets the shooter's touch. Again, the junior from Saratoga Springs, pride of Westlake High School. Darthur crashes the post, kicks it back out to McClanahan. Utah Valley trails by five. Fuller to Lafson, and an offensive foul and legal screen on Tim Fuller. With no J.J. Overton tonight. So Utah Valley still has yet to play a game with their full team, but hopefully that'll change later on this week. Again, the Cowboys with Wyoming coming into town on Saturday. There's another deep three from Southern Utah. Tevian Jones showing off that distance. And another whistle. And this one's going to go against Jaden McClanahan. And that'll take us to another timeout. Utah Valley trails 21 to 13. We'll be right back in Orem, Utah on the WAC Digital Network after this. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands, often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Coach Mark Madsen and his staff drawing up some plays during the timeout to try and get Utah Valley's offense back into gear. They trail 21 to 13 to the Thunderbirds of Southern Utah. In our weekly coaches show this past week, Coach Mark Madsen discussed what was lacking and what stood out to him last week in the loss 
against Westminster was communication on both sides of the ball. And, and for those of us here in the arena, maybe you can hear it at home on our microphones, but lots of communication going on with Utah Valley's bench right now. And I can only anticipate that to increase as the night goes on. And there you go. You're hearing that chatter. Butler going up strong against Trey Woodbury. And Butler now with four points. Woodbury comes across the screen. McClanahan wide open three-pointer. That one rims off left. Here comes Knight. Butler back to Knight again. Very active Southern Utah offense here. Butler puts it on the floor, going against Fuller. McClanahan comes in to get a hand on it. Last touched off of McClanahan, says the referee. So Southern Utah gets a th uh, about four seconds on the clock to make a play. Knight looking for something quick here. Butler, four, three, two, gives away to Knight. Man in his face, too strong. And an offensive foul called against Mason Fawcett. Good box out there from Trey Woodbury to get the rebound. And here's a moment that the Utah Valley Wolverines and their fans have been waiting for. Evan Cole, the transfer from Georgia Tech, sees his first minutes of action for Trey Woodbury. McClanahan. Cole, he can shoot it from there. Doesn't want that shot. McClanahan steps into another three-pointer. This one too strong again. Rebounded by Knight. Here comes Southern Utah. Pulls it back. Butler in transition. Puts it on the floor. Kicks it out in the corner. Now Knight again. As far as Amag set to come in. Beautiful move, gets the foul call. Tevian Jones, he's quick. And that foul's going to go against Evan Cole. That'll be his first personal. Right now, Southern Utah is shooting about 60% from the floor. They've only been to the free throw line once. Mason Fawcett made it. Sevian Jones, the junior from Chandler, Arizona, via Illinois. And Blaze Neal comes back in from McClanahan, and Fardaz Amak comes in for Tim Fuller. Jones makes both. First player in double figures tonight. Ten points very early on for Jones. 25-13, Thunderbirds on top. Less than ten minutes to go in the first half. Utah Valley. There's a distance connection there from Leifson. Beautiful rotation. Looked good as soon as it left his hand. Twenty-five, sixteen. Man, that is just filthy from Tevian Jones. You see Blaze Neal and a couple Utah Valley players on their bench just shaking their heads. They're not sure what to do. Last touch off of Southern Utah and John Knight, and he'll take a quick break as Dre Marin comes in. And Trey Woodbury set to check back in.
but not now. Twenty-seven, sixteen. Blaze Neal with a hard-nosed style that Coach Todd Simon likes to play on defense from Southern Utah. Single digits on the shot clock. Another three from Leifson. This one comes off short. Nice rebound there from Neal. Evan Cole has it. Evan Cole jams it. Oh, baby. Welcome to Utah Valley, Evan Cole. And that's what we like to see, and that's what Coach Mark Madsen brought him here to do. 18-27. Utah Valley trying to get their defense going now. Amok with the presence. Rebound. Almost threw it away. Darthard. Evan Cole steps into a three. Why not? Now one comes off right. He checked. Good ball movement there from Southern Utah. Outside shot. Too strong. That one missed by Moore. 27-18. And that'll take us to our break. And here's that beautiful moment we've all been waiting for. Evan Cole, take us to break, big man, with a rack attack. We'll be right back, right here on the WAC Digital Network after this. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh, from scratch, every day like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. Predicting Utah's diverse weather, it takes an experienced team passionate about putting you in the know before you go. It takes the KSL Weather Specialists. Weather made special. Utah Valley trails 18 to 27. Evan Cole at Lighting a fire underneath these cardboard cutouts here in Orem, Utah. His first point as a Utah Valley Wolverine highlight reel dunk. And Marquise Moore, the poor man on the recipient of being a poster. A little earth went in fire to boost spirits. 7.50 left to play here in the first half. Utah Valley basketball. Trey Woodbury on the floor. Woodbury rises, and that gets stripped from behind. Coach Mark Madsen screaming for the foul. You don't hear that come from him very often. I'd like to see another look at that. Utah Valley trying to step up the defense. Get back-to-back -back stops. Dawes aim at great anticipation. And he gets called for the foul. Coach Mark Matson, very passionate, as we all know. And Coach Mark Matson letting the officials know how he feels. Possibly saying he might send him a Christmas card in a couple weeks. Southern Utah again with the 27-18 lead. Man, Tevian Jones, 14 points already. The deadly assassin he just sneaks up on you. Next thing you know, he's at the rim. And this one did not get into the hands of Amac. That one goes out of play for another turnover for Utah Valley. Right now, Utah Valley, five turnovers to Southern Utah's one. 
And those five, those five turnovers have led to nine points for Southern Utah. Nine points puts this game very close. Southern Utah right now in command offensively. Six on the clock. Another deep three-pointer. He can't be stopped. Tevian Jones. Somebody's got to do something. Man possessed right now is Tevian Jones. 17 points in the first half. Amac calling for it. Size mismatch. Double teams looking for some help. They gave it right back to him. Amac. There it is. Dawes Amac now with eight points. His first bucket in probably six minutes. 32-20, Utah Valley trails by 12. Knight thought about it. Ten on the clock for Southern Utah. Knight to Tevian Jones. He's about as red hot as his uniform right now. Instead, he gives it up. And a foul called. Cortez Cooper gets the bucket and one. Dawes Amak, second personal foul. And that's going to cause him to sit the bench for a little bit. Tim Fuller checks in for him. Cortez Cooper. From Elgin, Illinois, coming to Southern Utah via LSU. Misses the free throw. Thunderbirds. 14-point lead over the Wolverines right now. 5.30 left to play in the first half. Neal. Laifson. Brinson. Laifson with the man in his face. Too strong. And Jones gets the rebound for Southern Utah. Here comes Marn. Now Butler. Butler's going against Jones. And Butler gets the touch. Butler now with six points. Several Utah Valley players still yet to score. Trey Woodbury trying to spark some offense here. Gets the turnaround jumper in the paint. Seven points now for Trey Woodbury on the night. And the Trey Darthur going to come in for Utah Valley. Butler passed up the three, put it down, gets the contact, and he gets fouled and puts it up and in. Right now, Southern Utah is just having their way with Utah Valley in the post. Harrison Butler, the junior from Santa Ana, California, pride of modern day high school. And misses, that's back-to-back -back misses from Southern Utah at the Charity Stripe, something Coach Todd Simon's not happy about. But they got a very comfortable 38-22 lead over Utah Valley. Marin showing off his skill, trying to drop a pass to Butler, instead intercepted by Utah Valley. Nice bounce pass to Darthur. Darthur rises and finishes. And Utah Valley, very adamant that that was a foul. And now the referees are talking to Coach Madsen and their bench. And it's always fun when the coaches share their opinions, especially Coach Madsen. Lots of energy. Now the referees are talking to Southern Utah. If you don't think this game meant anything, better get your eyes checked. Brinson with the three-pointer. And he gets the touch. That's what Utah Valley needed right there, 27-38. A little less than four minutes left to play in the first half. Can Utah Valley bring this thing even closer? They need a defensive stop right now, that's for sure. Knight trying to slow things down a little bit because they know that once Utah Valley gets out in transition, they are dangerous. Butler finally gets called for a travel. Oh, 
I think Coach Mark Madsen just got a warning. Coach Madsen speaking his piece, but nonetheless, Utah Valley coming back. They got a defensive stop. They'll have the ball when we return on the WAC Digital Network after this. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Owl Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've, You've got to come, come and see us. online at MurdochHyundai.com. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat. Because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew Kickstart. The Green Men Group pumping up these cardboard cutouts. Utah Valley. 27, Southern Utah 38. And right before we went to break, Harrison Butler got called for a travel. And Coach Mark Madsen was pleading his case. Feels like something that the referees have been missing on their end. We'll see how the rest of the 343 plays out here in the first half. Utah Valley needs an offensive spark, that's for sure. Woodbury to Neal. Woodbury comes back to it. Calling for Fuller to set the screen. Woodbury drives, creates the contact. No shot, but that's going to go against Jason Spurgeon. It's like a church in here. Got really quiet as Trey Woodbury made that free throw. The 28-38 Utah Valley with this next free throw has a chance to bring it within single digits. And Woodbury misses. 3.25 left. And Utah Valley now playing a more of a full court man press here. Almost got away with the steal. Tevian Jones, now Marin. So the Utah look just a little bit flustered. Spurgeon back to Marin. Now Knight. Tevian Jones with the man in his face. Too strong. Rebounded by Utah Valley. Here comes Trey Woodbury. Woodbury down low to Fuller. Neal. Woodbury. Brinson sees a hole, drives. Nice, beautiful layup with the left hand. 30 to 38, Utah Valley slowly chipping away at this Southern Utah lead. Woodbury, now the leading scorer for the Wolverines with eight points. Jones for Southern Utah, leading scorer for everybody with 17, looking to add to it. And make that 19 for Tevian Jones. Two minutes left to play in the first half. Brinson back to Fuller, back to Brinson again. Brinson drives. Comes up short, gets his own rebound, misses again. Here comes John Knight the third for Southern Utah, showing off his speed. Going against three Utah Valley defenders, and they finally call an offensive foul.
John Knight's first personal foul. So a minute 45 left. Utah Valley trails by 10. Woodbury gets the ball stripped from behind by Knight. Here comes Southern Utah. Neal trying not to foul. Brinson comes up behind. Tevian Jones got the hot hand. That one comes off too strong. Spurgeon with the rebound. Wide open Tevian Jones, but blocked by Woodbury. They're going to say goaltending. Woodbury got there just a little bit too late. Now Tevian Jones, 21 points, 8 of 11 from the floor, 3 of 5 from distance. And he is having himself a night. Brinson kicks it back out to Darther. Darther drives. Wanted to go up against Spurgeon, did, but Spurgeon won the battle. Butler, Tevian Jones, now Marin now. Less than a minute to play here in the first half. Utah Valley trails by 12. Southern Utah looking to add to it. Knight gives it back down low to the big man, kicks it back out to Marin. Marin comes off left. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Harrison Butler with the push. <laughs> and like a little kid who knew exactly what he did wrong, he runs all the way down and finds himself a spot in the key to get ready for the free throw. The Trey Woodbury shooting one and one. And misses the free throw. So more free throw woes continue for Utah Valley tonight. And a travel is called against Southern Utah. So an 8.4 second differential here for the Wolverines with the shot clock and the game clock. Coach Todd Simon calling in a substitution. Marquise Moore checking in for Harrison Butler. Wolverines will most likely wind the clock all the way down as far as they can. Let's see what play Coach Mark Matson has drawn up. Wolverines trying to get it within 10 or at least single digits here before the break. Seven on the clock. Woodbury finally makes his move. He's driving, step back, three pointer. Got it! Southern Utah up by nine. Four seconds left. Two seconds, desperation heave, and that one's no good. So a spark plug there from Trey Woodbury at the break gives him 11 points and brings the Wolverines within nine, 33-42. Beautiful step back three-pointer for Trey Woodbury, rattles it home. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got ourselves. A good matchup here coming up for you in the second half. We'll take a quick break, gather our thoughts here at halftime. Utah Valley 33, Southern Utah 42 on the WAC Digital Network. Make 
can see things for what they are. If we can see what they could be. If the plastic we use, we never throw away. If the end of one thing could be the beginning of the next. If we know that less can create more. If we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others, if we can work as a team, all we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. It's not always easy being the exception. They'll tell you you don't belong. That it's not your place. That it'll never fly. But here, you learn that you have a choice. You can listen to those voices can leave them all speechless. But the key component there is you. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more free. Available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL sports app today from your favorite app store. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands, often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval. Before you start shopping, your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do.
am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. You ready to go? Yeah. It's out and highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Welcome back to Utah Valley University on the campus here. UCCU Center to be exact. Tonight's game sponsored right there on the right-hand side with that beautiful Tucan, the Tucano's Brazilian Grill. Anybody uh, ever been up here to Utah or in this area, you know Tucano's has got some fantastic food. Good people that work there too. Tucano's Brazilian Grill, your sponsor for tonight's game. Breaking down the first half as Utah Valley trails 33-42 to to Southern Utah. Right now, Southern Utah, they are just riding, excuse me, they are riding the wave of Tebby and Jones. 21 points in that first half, 8 of 11 from the floor, 3 of 5 from distance, and a perfect 2 of 2 at the free throw line. And, oh, yeah, by the way, he added in four rebounds and a couple assists as well. For Utah Valley on the other side, this is the team that needs to get this offense going. We saw Evan Cole come in. He brought down the house with a thunderous dunk. But other than that, really no real big spark plugs on the offensive side. Trey Woodbury, the only man in Utah Valley 
double digits right now with 11 points, four of seven from the floor, two of four from three-point land. The next closest to him, Fardaz Amak with eight points, Latre Darthard with four points, Jordan Brinson with five, Colby Lafson with three, and Evan Cole with two. Mason Fawcett for Southern Utah with seven, John Knight the third, and Dre Marin, both with two points apiece. Harrison Butler with eight points, and Cortez Cooper with two points as well. In the first half, Utah Valley shot 48% from the floor, and Southern Utah shot 58%. Utah Valley will get the ball to start this second half, and here we go, 20 more minutes of regulation in the last 80 minutes. As Southern Utah saw it's going down to the wire, but Trey Woodbury starts off the second half with a beautiful teardrop floater in the lane for two points for the Wolverines, 35-42. Very curious to see what Utah Valley's defensive adjustments will be here. And right away, Ivan Madunic going to work. We saw him briefly in the first half, and then he disappeared for the majority of that of that half, and so we'll see what Coach Todd Simon has up his sleeve and how to use him as Latrade Darthur steps into a three-pointer. Five straight points for the Wolverines right out of the gate. And that's a good sign. Darthur had 16 points last week for the Wolverines. Trevian Jones, why not? Oh my goodness! Trevian Jones unconscious tonight, 24 points. Somebody put a hand in his face. Fardaz Amak trying to do some work in the post. And he gets a little floater, a little bit too hard. And a swarm of red jerseys come around. 38-47, Southern Utah on top. Trevian Jones, the hot hand, gives down low to the big fella. Nice spin move and rejected by Fardaz Amak. Amak running the floor, trying to get the offensive rebound. And they're going to call a foul on Southern Utah as Blaze Neal goes flying. That foul is going to go against Dre Marn. And Blaze Neald will go to the free throw line. Blaze Neald again from Lehigh, Utah. He makes the free throw. First points of the night. And Blaze Neald, as he makes the second free throw, actually played against Mason Fawcett in Southern Utah. Both of their high schools were local, and they played against each other quite frequently. More pressure. Defense stripped away from Jordan Brinson. Brinson attacks, gets the foul, and finishes. And one for Jordan Brinson. That mad dog mentality leaking into this Utah Valley defense to start this second half here. Brinson rises. Marin coming from behind to slap on the wrist. And Brinson has an opportunity to tack on one more and finish the three-point play. And he does. So Brinson now with eight points on the contest. And they are just swarming. Two back-to-back -back turnovers, just about. And you can see what Utah Valley's trying to do anytime Tevy and Jones gets it. They're sending two guys on them. And, and Coach Mark Madsen, we, we have talked with them earlier on in the season about how J.J. Overton would have the quote-unquote better, more athletic offensive guy for the other team. And no J.J. Overton tonight, so it's got to be a team effort defensively. Tevian Jones open in the corner. Knight finds him with nine on the shot clock. Knight working the ball around. Marin with the man in his face, and Marin buries it. 43-50. Neald to Amac. Amac with the touch. Dawes Amac now in double digits with 10 points.
Southern Utah working the ball around the perimeter. Devian Jones now to Marin. Marin drives. Mason Fawcett with a nice layup. That was a beautiful old school give and go there from Southern Utah. Brinson with the crossover. Gets the foul call. That was quick there from Mason, excuse me, from Jordan Brinson. Pride of Inglewood, California. Coming from UAB. And Brinson will shoot too. And Brinson makes the free throw. A distinct intensity change and attitude change for Utah Valley here coming out of the break. And a substitution, Dre Marin steps off, and Nick Fleming will check in for Southern Utah. And Brinson comes up short on the second attempt. 46-52, a little over 16 minutes left to play in regulation. Does Utah Valley have a miracle comeback in them? An offensive foul? They're going to say that was a defensive foul? And they're going to call this one on Blaze Neald. And we'll take another look at it here. Blaze Neald. <laughs> you know what? It's 2020. I don't really know anymore. Fawcett on the floor. Spin moves, gets the contact, and they're going to call a foul on Trey Woodbury. Trey Woodbury went straight up in the air, so did the ball, and the whistle was blown. That'll be his second personal foul. And Evan Cole set the check in. And Fawcett makes the free throw. Evan Cole checks in for Latrey Darthard. First time that we've seen Evan Cole and Fardaz Amak together tonight. And we'll see what happens. Fawcett now in double digits with 10 points. Four or five from the floor. Fawcett misses. Amak with the rebound. 46-53, Utah Valley trails. Trey Woodbury. In low. Big fella. Count it. Strong hands from Dawes Amok with the finish. Nice touch from the big fella. Beautiful look. If Trey Woodbury was a quarterback, that's his favorite target right there, Dawes Amak. And Harrison Butler checks back in. Mason Fawcett will step off. And Dawes Amak already with 12 points, looking for number 13. And he misses. So 48-53, Southern Utah on top by five. And more pressure defense from the Wolverines. Knight down low. Amok doing well. To alter the shot, gets the rebound. Here comes Utah Valley, led by Brinson. Brinson to his left. Brinson to Cole. Cole with the layup. After what he did last time, that was underwhelming for everybody, but two points nonetheless. 50-53, to 53, Southern Utah lead dwindling. But Tevian Jones misses. Dawes Amak with the rebound. Utah Valley can really switch some momentum here with the bucket. They can tie it. Dawes Amak calling for it. Dawes Amak, too strong. Utah Valley looking for another stop. 15 minutes to play in regulation. Devian Jones drives with the reverse, misses. Tip back, misses. Jordan Brinson for Utah Valley drives. Kids contact. Count it! Jordan Brinson with the foul goes to the line for an opportunity to tie it all up at 53. 
and he'll get that free throw after the break. Acrobatic move from Brinson. Gets the contact, and we'll take a breather and get ready for this free throw right after this. The breaking news, weather, and traffic you need to know before you go. Wake up to real stories from real people. The news specialists on KSL Today. Mornings made special. I love this view. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. <sighs> Utah Valley spirit animal, President Astrid Tuminez and her husband, Always here, she, I swear, she's she's multiplying. There's two or three, President Tuminez is behind me, the cardboard cutouts, and then she shows up here in person. President Tuminez is always around a sporting event, very active, everybody loves her. Jordan Brinson get, got fouled right before the break. Has an opportunity to tie this bad boy up, 53 apiece with this free throw. Brinson now with 11 points on the night, four of six from the floor. And Utah Valley, who was shooting below 50%, just at 48% earlier in this game, has now upped their percentage to 56. And Utah Valley again struggling. More missed free throws. They trail by one. And hopefully I have a voice at the end of this. Butler drives, and he puts a one-handed jam down. 55-52. Cole to Brinson. Now to Woodbury. Woodbury drives, trying to create some space. Woodbury dishes it off to Amag. Amag has been automatic. 14 points now for the big fella. Tevian Jones loses Trey Woodbury, misses. Rebounded by Blaze Neal in Utah Valley. Wolverines down by one, can take the lead. Neal kicks it back out to Woodbury. Woodbury hesitates, drives, kicks it back out. Brinson, Cole, size mismatch. Everybody trying to clear out. That would have been fun. The baseline is safe for now. Foul against Southern Utah. Wolverines trail by one, 54-55. And Harrison Butler will step off. He's, he's a little shaken up. Mason Fawcett checks back in. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Evan Cole gets blocked from behind. Madunich. Tevian Jones has been quiet for a while. Tevian Jones drives, and he gets cut, blocked from behind. But a lot of body. Foul on Trey Woodbury. That'll be his third personal. Southern Utah has not scored in the last two and a half minutes. Tevian Jones leading all scores right now in the contest. And he tacks on one more, 25. To Tevian Jones with the quarter. As Trey Woodbury sits and Latrey Darthard comes back in for him. And Tevian Jones makes it 26. 54-57, Utah Valley down by three. Blaze Neal across the crest. Dawes Amac helping lead Utah Valley. Six of their last eight field goals made. Dawes Amac in the post, looking for some help. Puts it on the floor, takes it himself, misses the point blank layup. Utah Valley needed that one. 
54-57, 13 left to play. Tevian Jones, guarded by Brinson, shakes him off. Brinson falls, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Tevian Jones. Coach Todd Simon can't believe it. Brinson gets the call along with Utah Valley. Wolverines still trail by three. An opportunity to bring it within one or at least tie. Brinson. Top of the key with Amac. Amac now to Neal. Neal stops and pops from the free throw line. Too strong. And good box out there from Madunich. Here comes Tevian Jones in Southern Utah. Tevian Jones wanting that baseline. Said drives, who with the Magic Johnson, baby skyhook misses. Brinson now to Evan Cole, top of the key. Cole shuffle, called for a travel. Coach Mark Matson still encouraging his squad as meanwhile, the Southern Utah bench gets in a, a warning from the official. Utah Valley, after going six of eight, is now on a scoring drought of their no, no points in the last two minutes. And same thing with Southern Utah. They are one from their last seven. See if somebody can break the spell. There's a long distance dial there. That one rimmed off and gobbled up by Dawes Amok. Evan Cole. Darthur, Amok, Brinson. Brinson cross-court pass intercepted by Knight. Here comes Knight, kick out Fawcett, Fawcett for three, and he's got it. So Fawcett breaks the scoring drought, forces coach Mark Madsen to call a timeout, and increases the lead to six for Southern Utah. Utah Valley basketball when we return after this. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more, free. Available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. The Green Men Group, Coach Mark Madsen and company and the staff trying to get that Utah Valley Passion bring that Mark Madsen style, Mad Dog intensity to the rest of the second half. Utah Valley came out of the gate blazing with that attitude and really forced Southern Utah's hand offensively, and they brought it within one. Now, after that last three-pointer from, from Fawcett for Southern Utah, that lead is double now for, to six for Southern Utah. 60-54 to 54 with 11.22 left to play in regulation. Utah Valley basketball, Trey Woodbury back on the floor with Jordan Brinson. Evan Cole, who just got back from, from COVID protocols, seeing some limited minutes of action. He takes a break. Dawes Amak draws the foul on Ivan Madunic. That'll be his third personal, and then Coach Todd Simon is going to call a timeout as well. And we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Utah Valley basketball when we return on the WAC Digital Network.
It's not always easy being the exception. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, our doctors have experience treating young athletes, professional athletes, and the athlete next door. We treat everyday injuries, sports injuries, concussions, total joint replacements, and everything in between. Come visit our board certified physicians and surgeons here at Intermountain Healthcare's Utah Valley Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. We're committed to keeping you moving. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. <sighs> Utah Valley trails by six, 54 to 60 to the Thunderbirds of Southern Utah. Trey Woodbury, Fardos, Amac, Jordan Brinson, the trade Darthur, and Blaze Neal on the floor for the Wolverines. John Knight, the third. Nick Fleming. Mason Fawcett. Ivan Madunich. And Trevian Jones on the floor for Southern Utah. Trevian Jones, again, having a fantastic night tonight as Daz Amac makes the free throw on the other side. Tevin Jones, 26 points for Southern Utah. And Dawes Amak after that free throw, 15 points. And he looks to make it 16 here. And he does, even though he called it short. So 56-60, Utah Valley back within four. President Tuminez and her pom-poms across the court, cheering on her squad. And a whistle's called against Jordan Brinson. His first personal foul. Utah Valley again with the pressure defense, 15 seconds on the clock. Eight seconds. Madunich trying to make some sort of move. Give it away to Trevian Jones with two, with one. Desperation heave. Doesn't count. Madunich with the rebound and a fresh shot clock. Jones again drives. Going to go up against Dawes Amak. Bucket does not count. And that fouls against Jordan Brinson, his second. And Evan Cole is going to come back in for Utah Valley. And Jones makes the free throw. So Jones now with 27 points. And Daz Amok going to take a break. Well deserved. And the cardboard cutouts are giving their round of applause. And Jones misses. A rare miss from him tonight. 56 61, 10 27 left to play in regulation. The Trey Tarthur now for the Wolverines. The Jordan Brinton. Trey Woodbury. Woodbury misses. Nobody home for the rebound for Utah Valley. Here comes Southern Utah with the chance to tack on some more to their lead. Jones kicks out to Fawcett. Fawcett. Fleming. Fleming with 15. Fawcett cross court to Knight. Knight puts it on the floor, falls down, back to Fleming for a three. That one comes off the side. Madunich, excuse me, Fawcett there with the rebound and the putback. 56-63, Southern Utah on top. 9.40 left to play. A 
Whenever Utah Valley comes within three or four, then Southern Utah puts it back out to seven or eight. Cole on the floor with the spin move going against Madunas. Cole. Too strong. Tevian Jones. Knight. Jones on the floor. Gives a shove, creates some space, and that is just deadly. My goodness. Tevian Jones now over 30 points tonight. Brinson drives, contact, and he gets it to fall. 58-66. Brinson now with 13 points. Devian Jones, Fleming, Madunic, Madunic, Cole stays on his feet, draws the foul in the air, and he's frustrated with himself. Cole got caught in the popcorn machine. And Dawes Amak set to come back in. And Madunic with that sweet stroke at the charity stripe. Tacks on to his lead tonight. It's only his third point. He's from Croatia. And make that four points tonight for Ivan Madunic. 58-68, so just like that, Utah Valley trails by 10. Just about four minutes ago, they were only down by one. Jordan Brinson, seeing if he can create a spark plug here for this Utah Valley offense. Dawes Amok trying to do the best he can as well. Clearing out the post, Dawes Amok loses a defender, misses the shot. Here come the Thunderbirds in transition. And that foul will go against the trade Darthard. And a timeout on the floor. Wolverines trail by 10. Free throws coming up for the Thunderbirds when we return in Orem, Utah. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born. Emergencies continue to happen. And doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. You ready to go? Yeah. South Park. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Thunderbirds right now staving off Utah Valley's Wolverines very well. Coach Todd Simon doing an, an excellent job down there at his program. Right now, 10-point lead for the Thunderbirds. Again, if you're late to the party tonight or haven't seen any of the articles in the area, Southern Utah currently in the Big Sky Conference, but earlier this week received an official invitation to join the Western Athletic Conference alongside Utah Valley. So we'll see what, what is in store for the Thunderbirds in the future. But right now, they have a 10-point lead on top of the Wolverines. Leading everybody right now is Tevian Jones with 30 points. 10 of 18 from the floor. Just an absolute beast. 
And right now at the free throw line is Fawcett. Mason Fawcett, again, the junior from Saratoga Springs, which is about 25, 30 minutes away from here. And Fawcett makes both. So Fawcett now with eight, excuse me, 17 points on the night for, for the junior. 58 to 70, less than eight minutes to play. See if Utah Valley can do anything offensively. Trey Woodbury misses, gets a lot of contact. Still no whistle. All three officials looking at each other. Finally, they say that the ball goes out of bounds off of Southern Utah. And it'll be a Utah Valley play out of bounds. And Coach Mark Matson again, very frustrated. Something you don't see very often. Blaze Neal to inbound. Kicks it back out to Brinson. 20 on the clock for the Wolverines to work. Woodbury calling for it. Evan Cole doesn't get to it as Tevian Jones tips it out of play. So seven seconds on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Nealed. Brinson with five. Brinson drives with four. Puts it up. Too strong. Nice rebound from Amac. Amac gets fouled. Puts it in again. Eighteen points on the night for Dawes. Amac showing off his strength. Getting hacked in the post, but still putting it through the net. Amac misses. And Evan Cole draws a foul. And you saw how excited he was and what that meant to him. So that foul will go against Ivan Madunic. That'll be his fourth personal foul. Evan Cole will go to the line and try to bring that Utah Valley lead to single digits. Right now they trail by 10. And it looks like the referees are going to go over Evan Cole from Atlanta, Georgia at the free throw line. Transfer via Georgia Tech. Rocking the pink shoes tonight. And a sweet stroke from the free throw line makes the first one. Marquise Moore comes in for Madunich for the Thunderbirds. And Cole makes both. So now Cole with six points tonight. See if that sparks anything on the offensive side. You can see his aggressiveness already on the defensive side. Lots of pressure. Seven minutes left to play. Utah Valley down by eight. Fawcett. Tevian Jones wide open. Dawes Amac with the rebound. Here comes Jordan Brinson. Brinson to Amac. Woodbury with the shake and bake. And they're going to call Harrison Butler with the foul there. I didn't really see where the foul was, but that's his fourth. So the third Southern Utah player with four fouls. Harrison Butler trying to plead his case with the official. The official says a little too late. But Woodbury at the line. And he makes the first one, gets the shooter's touch off the front rim. Woodbury now with 15 points tonight. 5 of 10 from the floor, 2 of 4 from beyond the arc. And we got uh, some blood, it looks like, on the left knee of Mason Fawcett. And the officials are tending to it. And no real official word. There was a buzzer that sounded. <laughs> now the officials are bringing everybody back out on the court.
So Trey Woodbury trying to make the second of two. And he does. So 64-70, Utah Valley down by six with a little over 640 left to play in the contest. And more pressure defense, high pressure defense from the Wolverines. Let's see how Southern Utah counters. Mason Fawcett in the post. Runs straight into Evan Cole. They're going to call a foul on Evan Cole. Mason Fawcett listed 6'6", 225. Evan Cole, 6'10", 230. And it looked like Mason Fawcett was about 50 pounds lighter the way he bounced off of Evan Cole. And Fawcett makes the free throw. Fawcett makes both. 19 points for Mason Fawcett tonight for Southern Utah. 64-72, Wolverines, if they're going to make a move, they got to do it soon. Trey Woodbury drives, and they're going to say offensive foul. He leaned in to Mason Fawcett. Mason Fawcett drew it perfectly. That's Trey Woodbury's fourth personal foul, the first Wolverine with four fouls. That's Utah Valley's ninth turnover tonight. Blaze Neal got a hand on it, but it fell right back into the hands of John Knight. Now Tevian Jones. Fleming. Ten on the clock. Fleming. And Woodbury draws the offensive foul on the other side. Marquise Moore, the guilty party this time. Utah Valley down by eight. The Trey Darthur comes in for Trey Woodbury. Now Jordan Brinson with it across the crest. 5.30 left to play in regulation. Dawes Amak calling for it. Dawes Amak trying to clear out the post. Dawes Amak gets the touch. Amak now with 20 points. 66-72. Knight, Fleming, Tevian Jones. Fleming again. Ten on the clock. Southern Utah pulls it back. Seven. Tevian Jones catches, releases. Too strong. Evan Cole gets tripped. Bodies on the floor. Southern Utah comes away with it. Coach Todd Simon says to run some clock. Instead, Tevian Jones is going to draw a foul. And they're going to say no shot. And that's Latrey Darthard's third personal foul. 66-72. And Tevian Jones, basketball Jones tonight, 30 points, 50% from the floor. Five and six from the charity stripe. Makes that six to seven. And he misses the second. Don Zamak there with the rebound, 66-73. Wolverines trail by seven. 4.45 left to play in regulation. And again, the Wolverines without J.J. Overton. Imagine what this offense and defense would look like with him. Dawes Amak gets it. The 13 on the clock. Triple team. Cross-court pass wide open. Jordan Brinson. Too strong. Rebounded by Nick Fleming. Southern Utah. Wide open. Fast break. And a foul is called against Devin Cole. That'll be his third. His fourth, excuse me. And Trey Woodbury, who has four fouls, will come back in and try and survive the last four minutes and 24 seconds. Two 
Too strong for Marquise Moore. Evan Cole providing some good solid minutes tonight in his Utah Valley debut. And Moore makes the second one. 66-74. Eight point lead for the Thunderbirds. Utah Valley nearly got that one taken away. And a lull of energy really here on the Utah Valley side. This is where the uh, cardboard cutouts need to earn their keep. Trey Woodbury. The trade are third with the man in his face. Too strong. Brinson can't get the rebound. Instead, here comes Fleming. Now tonight, cross-court pass. Tevian Jones steps into a three-pointer. That one too strong. Amac, great anticipation with the rebound. The trade Darthur wide open, and he can't hold on to it. Another opportunity for Utah Valley missed. An immediate timeout. Under four minutes left to play here in Orem, Utah. The Wolverines trail 66-74. We'll be back after this here on the WAC Digital Network. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Ghana's first Winter Games skeleton. Support student-athletes like former Utah Valley University track star, graduate, and current Olympian Akwasi Frimpong. Yes, South Korea, here I come. Akwasi was the first person to represent his nation of Ghana at the Winter Olympics in the skeleton. Support the next UVU Olympian by joining the Wolverine Club today. Utah Valley Trail 66 to 74, 349 left to play. Does Utah Valley have some magic up their sleeve? Can Southern Utah hold on here to make it three in a row for them? Utah Valley again without JJ Overton, who is isn't feeling very well, but they say just out of caution. They're gonna let him sit tonight. He is averaging over 20 points per game. And right now, Dawes Amak with 20 points leading the Wolverines. Trey Woodbury with 15. Jordan Brinson with 13. And leading everybody is Tevian Basketball Jones with 31 points for Southern Utah. Some more high pressure defense for the Wolverines. And you know that Southern Utah is just going to try and milk the clock. Utah Valley trying not to foul to give away cheap points. Tevian Jones misses. Big board there from John Knight. And Dawes Amok there with an even bigger block. And they're going to say that Utah Valley, Blaze Neal, was foot was on the line. So it'll stay in possession of the Thunderbirds. 317. Let's go, Utah Valley. 18 on the shot clock. Tevian Jones to inbound. Right to Fawcett, back to Jones. Jones comes around, spin move, and that's short. Nice rebound from Amac. Blaze Neal. Utah Valley has time. They just got to make some shots. They got to do it quick. Three minutes left to play in regulation. Six, excuse me, 66-74. Trey Woodbury drives, creates contact. Doesn't get the ball to fall, no whistle call. And here comes Southern Utah. John Knight with the layup, and he looks over at his bench. And the Thunderbirds flexing as John Knight smiles. 
10 point lead with 2.30 left. Brinson back to Amac. Amac gives it back. Brinson spins, creates his move, and that one's deflected by Madunich. Excuse me, Fawcett. Nice bounce pass, Tevian Jones, and he loses it. That one gets kicked out of play by Utah Valley. And Coach Mark Matson's going to call a timeout. And we'll keep it here. 30 second timeout for Coach Matson. And we'll take a break. Utah businesses are best in the world because we get things done. Let's go all in on stopping COVID. Let's wear a mask. We're all in. Are you? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. A little over two minutes left to play. Can Utah Valley find some way to find 10 points and hold off Southern Utah to come back and win this thing? Chances looking slimmer by the second here. Tevian Jones in Southern Utah with a 76 point performance tonight so far. And Trey Woodbury gets the ball. Here comes Jordan Brinson. The Trey Darthard. The Trey Darthard gets gobbled up by Mason Fawcett. Two hands. My goodness. Mason Fawcett. Played well in front of some of his hometown fans. And less than two minutes left to play. Ten-point lead. The next Southern Utah bucket might put this thing on ice. Knight draws the foul against the train. Darthur, and he'll go to the free throw line. Knight quiet tonight offensively. Only four points, two of four from the floor, five rebounds. But he's played significant minutes and significant defense tonight. That's helped his team be where they are. Nine misses from the free throw line. And he comes up short, misses both, but somehow gets his rebound. Throws it back out to Tevian Jones, who puts it back out to run some clock with Fleming. Tevian Jones with six, with five now. Gets stripped from behind. Here's Jordan Brinson, going to try and drive it all the way. He gets fouled. Count it. A very hard foul, but gets brought up. Good sportsmanship from Southern Utah. Jordan Brinson going hard with the sacrifice of his body. And Brinson tonight has been a breath of fresh air for Utah Valley, who's missed him the last couple of games. 15 points, 6 of 11 from the floor. Make that 16 points tonight. And Dre Marn checks in. So 69-76, Utah Valley Trail. Southern Utah with time on their side. A minute 18 left to play. And Southern Utah continuing to play keep away from Utah Valley. Latre Darthur somehow gets a paw on it. Then they call a foul, and he comes up limping on the other side, and that is not good. Maybe a Charlie horse or a cramp. He's holding his his right calf. And it looks like it might be just a little bit of a cramp. He's trying to stretch out. And Evan Cole going to check in for Utah Valley as the trade Darthur comes out.
Marin makes the first free throw, and Knight comes back in. And Marin misses the second. Daz Hamak there to gobble up another rebound. And another double-double for the big fella. 13 rebounds, 20 points tonight for Daz Amak. And he might get a couple more. Left-handed teardrop doesn't go. And a foul from Trey Woodbury, and his night is done. Seventy-seven, sixty-nine, Southern Utah on top. And Colby Lafson set to check in along with John Knight. Utah Valley will try to finish this one here in the next few seconds. Set their sights on Wyoming on Saturday. Hopefully they'll have J.J. Overton back by then. We know how his athletic presence and defensive prowess especially the way he's been playing on offense, would have really helped out this Utah Valley team tonight. But you got to tip your hats off to Coach Todd Simon and Southern Utah for coming in and, and doing what they have been doing all season long so far as Evan Cole steps into a three-pointer and misses. And ball bouncing all over the place and finally takes a deflection off of Utah Valley and will go Southern Utah's way. to be the third straight win for Southern Utah. And they will improve to four and one. Utah Valley will go to two and two. And they're gonna call a foul on the opposite side. Southern Utah will set their sights on December 17th where they take on Dixie State. So Dixie State, another new member of the Western Athletic Conference and territorial rival to Southern Utah. As Fleming misses a free throw on the other side. So it'll be interesting. Again, Southern Utah receiving the offer the official offer from the Western Athletic Conference to join the WAC. And if they do accept, you can have the WAC with three Utah teams. Don't know if they're going to expand and try and reach out to anybody else. And some shot clock issues. Somebody thought that the player had touched the ball, and so the clock started to run. And the referee wanted the clock to go back to its original time at 24 seconds. Evan Cole to Jordan Brinson. Lafson kneeled with a three-pointer. That one rims out. And a foul called against Utah Valley, and that will pretty much seal the deal. Colby Lafson's second personal foul will send the Thunderbirds to the line, and John Knight the third will do the honors. The last seven minutes or so have been frustrating for a Utah Valley standpoint to watch as Knight misses that free throw. But lots of positives to take away from this. Again, you add you add JJ Overton to this mix. And Utah Valley starting to click, starting to get their feel for each other. Again, 16 newcomers on this season for Coach Mark Madsen as, as Jordan Brinson tacks on two more. And Blaze Neal swaps that out of play. Utah Valley still fighting until the very bitter end here. This is the Mark Madsen mentality. You got to love it. Hard defense, hard sacrifice. And I think that's Evan Cole's fifth foul. 
So he'll join the he'll join Trey Woodbury being the two Wolverines to foul out tonight. His night is done. Six points, two of six from the floor. And again, Evan Cole coming back from, from COVID protocol. Good to see him out there. And Asa McCord will check in for the first time tonight. And Tevian Basketball Jones with 31 points, looking to add on a couple more. 32 points for Tevian. 10 of 23 from the floor, 1 of 2 from distance. 7 of 8 from the free throw line. I made that 8 of 9 from the free throw line tonight for Tevian Jones. 33 points. And a three-pointer in the corner. And that one is missed. And Utah Valley will fall to Southern Utah, 81-71. to Southern Utah improves three straight wins, 4-1 and one on the season. Utah Valley will go to 2-2. Two and two. Wolverines will try to regroup, learn from what happened tonight, and get ready for another tough opponent on Saturday as Wyoming from the Mountain West comes into the UCCU Center. For all of our hardworking statisticians and crew behind the scenes, for Ben Schroeder, I am Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah.